What's going on you guys, it's Alex, and in today's video I want to show you how to track form submissions uh, on Google Ads. This is the easiest way that you can set it up to track form submissions. If it doesn't work this way, you may have a different structure and it's going to be a little bit harder, but I'm going to walk you through how to do that. If you need help with this, uh, you can click the link down below, book a call with me. I'm happy to take a look at your conversion setup and see if there's any way to get this working for you. Otherwise, I'm just going to walk you guys through how to set that up. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Google Tag Manager set up, add your conversion linker, make sure that's all set up, right? I'm not gonna walk through this. It's a whole different tutorial. Um, and you wanna see what triggers your form, right? So just go to preview. This is gonna walk you through how Google Tag Manager is viewing your site, right? Click connect. Now a lot of people will use the thank you uh, page as a uh, way to track submissions, but that is not anywhere near as accurate. That's a good secondary conversion, um, but it's not the best conversion action uh, to have. So just fill out your form, and then if you just go back to uh, Tag Assistant here, you can see all the actions that have already happened, right? In some cases, you might see a form start, you might see a click, you might see a scroll, depending on how your website's set up. Um, just add whatever number here, add your card here, right? Or add the, the data here. Uh, just fill out the form, right, to do a test click get your quote or just fill out the form for whatever your business you have, whatever your form looks like. Click OK, right? Nothing happens here. It's all being sent to a thank you page. If you go to your tag assistant, Google Tag Manager here, we can see that Google Tag Manager kicked back the form submit event, right? Event form submit. We have a variable as an event, a custom event as a form submit event. Great. We know that it's working. If you submit something and nothing happens here, that's a little bit harder. You're gonna to have to figure it out uh, how to get a tag being sent for your own website or whatever. Um, in some cases, nothing's gonna show up at all. Then you might wanna use the thank you page. Uh, it's just a little bit less reliable and I like this way a lot better. Great, so we now see that the form submit um, tag is tracking. We can exit out of this, stop debugging and go back to our Google Tag Manager. So on the Google Ads side of things, let me just pause for a second, guys. One sec. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, so just jumping back in, this is where you're going to set up the goal. We already have one, the uh, conversion being tracked. Actually, we don't have one. So this is fantastic. Uh, just start by clicking Create Conversion Action. This may look different for you, uh, but the fundamentals will be the same. So we are tracking a conversion on the website. You're going to want to add your domain here. Let's just add this in uh, right here. It's just checking to make sure you have everything set up properly. Now, you can set it up this way, right? You do the submit lead form, page load, thank you page, whatever. I like to add it manually. So you will still tell Google it's gonna be a, a form submission, right? Form submission. Make sure you set it as a primary um, action because you want Google to eventually use form submissions for bidding uh, optimization. I don't add a value, you can if you know, I couldn't tell you what a call is worth in this case. Um, for count, right, just use one, so that it's one form submission per uh, IP, per user basically. Click on done. You can turn this on, click on agree and continue. And now you're gonna have a few options here, right? Set up with Google Tag. If you can set that up easily, fine, but typically I'm gonna use Google Tag Manager. So. That's great. This is the Google Ads setup here. Now, go back into your Google Tag Manager. Uh, click on Tags here. Yep. Click on New. Now we want a form submission as our tag. Tag configuration, Google Ads, right? And then Google Ads conversion tracking right here. Now enter that conversion ID from here into there. And then enter the conversion label from here into there, right? That part's done, you can close there. Now for triggering, triggering is the form submit event. So it's that event we saw, the form underscore, uh, form underscore submit. So go ahead and add a trigger, right? And you can just do form submit, trigger configuration. Now this is gonna depend on what was triggered on your Google Tag Manager that you saw at the beginning. Um, and sorry, just one second. Okay, so what you're looking for here is you can add the form submission 
um, depending on how your Google Tag Manager is set up. I like to do custom event just because it's gonna be more accurate. So the event name is just gonna be form underscore submit or whatever the event that Google Tag Manager kicked back when you did the submission on your um, Tag Assistant, right? And then some custom events, right? And the event contains the same form underscore submit. So this is just kind of like a backup, right? So the event name is always going to be form underscore submit. Um, but just to double verify, it also will be triggered on the event that contains the form underscore submit uh, tag. So I click save. All right. If you get an error here that Google tag is not found, just add it. All you have to do is w w follow through the prompts and you'll be good. Click save. Right. And don't forget to click submit so that Google Tag Manager publishes your changes. And it really is that easy. Uh, we can do a test. I hope it works. But if it doesn't work, then you just got to go back and find out why. You'll get this issue a lot. Um, you can just click configure your domains. And then again, we have the conversion linker tag, which is fine. So just configure, hit publish again hit continue and you'll see it goes away. And that error can always be there. Sometimes it goes away. Uh, if you see that it's working right now, it's gone. I'm just double checking. We have the conversion linker and we do. Um, yeah, we're good. All right. So just to make sure it's working, click preview. This should already be selected. Now we'll see if the tag itself fires. It does with form submission. So it's on the page. Let's just do another test. To let's just add whatever here. Test, test. Add the package. Click get your quote. It works there. And let's see. And there you can see that the form submission tag was fired. It was fired twice. It double reported. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but that would not fire as the two conversions on Google Ads because we have it to set as only one time, which is why you set it only as a uh, single, as that one time setting there. And so now we know that on our Google Ads, the conversions are being tracked for the form submissions. It's really that straightforward, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do come back and you see it needs attention, just go through and submit a form. Uh, otherwise, the next form submissions uh, that goes through will clear the inactive status uh, on Google ads here, uh, but it is working. Um, yeah, hope you, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions or you're having trouble with the form submissions, you can leave a comment or something. Uh, just let me know what's going on. Happy to help. As always, you guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.